kids welcome back so growing up my mom always always did a valentine's day basket for me which i'm beyond grateful for um it also showed me that valentine's day isn't just for the person that you're in a relationship with it could be your friends uh, family um so i did my daughter's first um valentine's day basket i was so so happy and i had so much fun getting things that i know she loves she is only one and a half um so the things in here are nothing crazy um because she is a one and a half but these are things that i know she already loves and likes and she plays with all types so that is what i got for her i'm gonna go to share with you guys what i picked up everything is either from dollar tree or target um very affordable so i really hope you guys enjoy this video before we get started don't forget to comment rate and subscribe and turn on that bell notification for more videos from me don't forget guys once you guys comment and like it does tell youtube hey they're enjoying her videos let's push it out to more viewers so she can get a little bit more traffic on her channel and i am very very grateful for that so before i keep talking into this intro let's go ahead and get into the video i did already separate stuff um uh, because there is certain things that i'm not gonna give her um for valentine's day um there's just some things like that I just have extra of um, that I could put in her Easter basket or just to have for a later date. Um, but yeah, let me go ahead and start showing you the stuff before we actually get into filling it up. So one of the things I got from Amazon is this cute kit. Um, she actually really, really, really loves this movie. Um, it's supposed to come with the five of them and I opened it right now just to make sure um, everything's good and ready so that when she opens it, um they are really really adorable um but i'm lucky she does not put them in her mouth guys she's a really good girl she does not put them in her mouth my daughter is a one and a half she does not put anything really in her mouth <laughs> other than like food um uh but it came with two mayonnaise so i'm going to have to reach out to them and tell them hey um i, I, I want her too <laughs> uh -huh. but yeah so that's one thing um so i got some books for her um i got her this one it says i am respectful um i got her god's gift the i am respectful one is actually a pop-up book which i thought she would really much love i got her arthur's pals um i also got her two of these books um at the dollar store i think these are so cool um she's going to love this she is going to love this she loves playing peekaboo um she loves dogs so like she's going to love this so i got her two of those um i got her one of her favorite movies she loves frozen so i got her some of these this one is new buddies which is um spin and olaf i got her count on us and then i also got her the warm hugs which is really cute. I'm about to open it. <laughs> um, uh, all right. And then also, I think I got these. Oh, I got these at Target. So I got her these. One's already open, so I can kind of show you guys. Um, so it's basically a book, coloring book. Comes with four crayons. She has not played with crayons yet, so this is going to be a toddler experience. <sighs> uh and then i got her it comes with some stickers as well so i got her the um coco melon and then also the play and pack grab and go um this is the alice in wonderland one but that is what they're called and again it comes with the stickers um before we move on i do want to say i am putting some stuff separate so not exactly sure how i'm gonna do it yet but one like this is gonna be her coloring stuff um and some toys and stuff and that's why i wanted one with a zipper that um i could put in her diaper bag and then one is gonna be for her toy bag when we go to like her in-laws house and stuff like that that's where i'm gonna put the crayons um i don't know how i'm gonna place it in the basket yet but that is the idea of it <laughs> Um, all right, and then I got her this little sponge at the dollar store. Um, I just thought it was cute and just to make it a little cutesy. She'll probably love playing with that in the shower. Um, all right, and then I got her this on Amazon. Um, so it, the one I bought has a set of two. You guys, I did not understand how much my daughter would love this. It does come with a thing. It's like a string thing. Um, I can take it out. It comes with a string thing. Um, but uh, my husband was like, let's not put that on there. It doesn't really feel safe for her little fingers. So we did, we took that out. 
she honestly runs to us and asks us to take it out anyways uh but she loves the other one and this one's actually gonna go in the diaper bag as well uh, because again she loves this thing and i love that i have two uh, amazon storefront that right now when i'm posting this video they are on sale so just throwing that out there um so you guys have seen my other videos i uh, not i she loves um this like the coloring sets the crayola mess free um coloring books those are the ones that she normally has and loves and uses she loses these all the time um i do want to say you guys these are awesome because she leaves these the tapao i'm covered she leaves these uncovered all the time and they don't die. Like they're still working perfectly fine in the markers. So um, I got her a new set of those. Um, and then I did get her, uh, I believe I found this one at Five Below. Um, she, I did get her a couple other ones that are over there, but this is the one that's gonna go in the basket. Um, it's in the Magic Ink one. These are really cool. If your dog, if your child doesn't love it, you probably would. Uh, but these are really cool. So I got her this. Um, I got her SpongeBob because I got her other stuff of SpongeBob for her basket. And also because she does see my SpongeBob up there and she wants them. Um, and then this is actually probably her favorite kind of book. You guys can even see that up close. Um, it does come with three markers. Um, but she does have a Coco Melon one. And she has completely colored every single page. And she did it, not me. She absolutely loves it. So I'm actually going to pick up some more of these. Um, but yeah, I love these. Um, and then I did get a Coco Melon one of these. I don't remember where I picked this one up, to be honest, guys. Um, but again, it is a coloring book. It has three little markers and it has um, stickers as well. Again, we're going to start the training of you don't do things on the walls, but I, I thought they were cute. <laughs> Um, so I saw these at the dollar store and I thought they were really, really cute. Let me just show you really close up. Hopefully it's focusing. There we go. Um, so it is in a tin and I'm going to keep one in her diaper bag as well. So this side of it has basically the actual um, potato and then the magnets are how you dress it. She likes kind of like things that you could put on and take off. So I think she would really, really enjoy this. Um, I got her a Barbie one that's in the other bin, but then I also got her, you know, this one, which is really cute. Um, she kind of dressed up. She likes kind of dolls and stuff already, so got her that. Um, and then I did also get her um, for her, definitely for her diaper bag, a Mr. Potato Head um, little one. This one I got at the dollar store. They had a couple of different ones, um, but again, an Imagine Ink style. It's kind of like the cheaper version of this guy, <laughs> um, but a dollar. And you could just, she could just draw on these. And they actually come with stickers. Oh, I didn't even know that. They come with stickers as well. Um, then I got her this guy. I got her this at the dollar store. She absolutely loves, loves her big one. So that's going to go in there as well. Um, and then I got her some little stuffed animals um, things. <laughs> so I got her these at the dollar store, which is, you know, um spongebob patrick and squidward which i thought they were really really cute they really didn't have that many of these left so i really wanted to get doubles but i didn't how spongebob that cute though um she likes the minions she only likes the commercial of the minions so she doesn't like the minion movie i know <laughs> uh, but yeah these are so freaking cute um, and then I picked this one, which says, I love you from the dollar store. And my husband picked this one, which says, be mine. He likes, he liked the gray one. Um, little dogs, wow, wow, so that's what she calls them. <laughs> um, and then we got this little cute unicorn. Yeah, unicorn. So if you saw my past video, you know, I really wanted to find the dad and the brother. I did not find it, guys. Um, I didn't even find these this time we went, so she's just gonna have to go without it. The next time we go to the dollar store, which I'm just gonna continue my hunt, I really, really want to find the dad and the brother for the, of these for her. Um, yeah, and then of course the basket. Um, and then I did get like a little um, pink scarf to just put in the bottom of the basket. So let's go ahead and fill this up for my munchkin. All right, so I think I'm, I don't, 
having like enough stuff to make it completely full. So I'm gonna put that on the bottom there. I'm gonna put the stuffed animals first. Mm, no, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put. I kind of want to put it just like flat because there's no, I'm not gonna put anything in there right now. I think I'm just gonna wait until later on. I guess I'm gonna go visual. There we go. I'm gonna put that there. I'm gonna actually just kind of put that there since it's not really anything special yet. And she's seen that before, so it's not like something different. There. Her crayons back here, also her little markers. Let's see. That's good. There. So always, you know, you gotta keep moving things around and see what you end up liking. Um, I think I need something else to kind of make it stand up a little bit more. Put this back here. Trust the process, y'all. Trust the process. Yeah, I'm gonna put this on this side. Yeah, so I'll have something kind of to hold on to. So I can go right there. Just chilling right there. Let's put the markers in here too. The marker doesn't have to see like right away. Let's have the poking through there. Mm, no, I don't like that. I don't really care if she doesn't see everything. She's gonna destroy the box anyways. Unless she gets her hands on it. She's just gonna start grabbing things or pulling things out, I should say, because toddlers don't do anything nice and gradually. <laughs> uh, spot right there for her. I want that to be right there. All right, now let's go ahead and fit in. Let's put this one kind of there and then this one there. Kind of like a little bit, I uh, wanted to be a little more overlapped, a little bit overlapping. That works. All right, now to get these fun books in there somewhere. Oh, that works. Okay, the markers down there, I really don't care if she sees them or not. I did write I love you on this, so I kind of want it to be a little bit more out there in front. Never said I do this for a living, y'all. Eh, that works. I mean, she's gonna throw all this stuff anyway, so. Okay. A little Mr. Good Food of a book. Oh, look at that. He's peeking through. Oh, no, he's not. That's fine. I just kind of wish these stood out a little bit more, but it's okay. Then let's put my minions right where it's like an awkward little bit of nothing. Oh, that's cute. We'll do that. All right. All right, guys. I know there's some hidden stuff in there, but that's okay. Again, she's only one and a half, so <laughs> she'll get it together. She'll figure it out. Um. But I love it. It came out super, super cute. I don't like this tag coming out. Can you go away? Can you hide? Thanks. There you go. <laughs> it's really cute though. I like how it came out. I had to move her because it was driving me insane. So cute though. <laughs> love how he's like not in the mood for it. And you didn't see. I love it. Oh my God, I love it. And that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you're giving your 
significant other, your children, um, your friends, your family, anything down below. I really hope you guys have a wonderful and blessed Valentine's Day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.